This is Scottsdale, Arizona at the Marketing Profs event and David Alston from Radian 6, a social media monitoring company. Uh, how's the conference so far? Oh, it's good. It's, uh, there's a lot of folks here, uh, a lot of marketers here to basically find a lot about social media. It's, uh, we found out the first two sessions, long, completely packed full. Um, so, so lots of interest? Lots of interest, so it's, uh, it's very good for a company that obviously monitor social media. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So you're at, you're at the right place. I, I, I am at the right place. Thank goodness. Yeah. So um, you work with lots of brands who are trying to figure out uh, social media measurement and how to do it. Uh, yeah. What are some big uh, misperceptions that, that brands have sort of walking into a, an engagement with you about what's possible or what's not possible when it comes to measuring social media? Um, well, I think... I, let me go back. I think one of the things that uh, tends to be a bit, a bit of a misperception is when brands come in, they think when they think of measurement, um, and when they hear the word social media, they think in terms of media measurement. So a lot of times they'll think in terms of, you know, eyeballs and, and uh, impressions and all this kind of stuff. And I think if you see a number of conferences uh, discussing where panels are discussing this, no one's ever been able to land on it. They continue to kind of. Um, Say, oh, well, you know, here's another conference that's gone by, and no one's really kind of landed on something that I can actually say, well, that's how you measure social media from that perspective. So I guess one of the things I generally try to challenge uh, a brand on is to change their paradigm of how they look at measurement. Um, I like to come from the customer's, customer angle. So I, I like to think in terms of when, when someone's blogging, tweeting, uh, posting image on Flickr or or a video on YouTube or whatever, they're expressing an opinion, uh, maybe about a brand, or they're, they're expressing a need, or they're expressing uh, a like or dislike, okay? And if, if they're doing that, they're basically, instead of, they're not calling the brand, but they're almost calling out the brand. They're basically saying, here's my opinion about it, are you going to answer? Are you going to listen? Are you going to engage? So they're looking for a response. Yeah, they're looking for a response. It, I mean, why would a person, generally, I mean, this is not always, I mean, there's a few folks that say, you know, I blog for other, you know, more uh, purist reasons. But for the most part, when people blog or, or say things online, they want to be heard. They want people to engage with them. They want to know if their opinions count or if they're on target with what they're saying. So, you know. What I basically like to describe social media as is really, from a brand perspective, is really something of, you know, is your brand answering the social phone? Is it, you know, the phone's ringing, much like, you know, your, in, your, in your company it's ringing. Are you going to answer it or are you going to just let it ring? And the thing is, the difference, of course, between, you know, a phone inside of a company ringing and one in social, kind of the social phone ringing, is the fact that everyone sees that social phone ringing because it's in the public. So the longer no, no one's picking up the phone, you know, not only is the person who feels like, you know, I've said something and I've expressed a need or expressed something and no one's really answered me on that from that brand, but everyone around is looking at that situation going, why isn't that brand answering the, the social phone? Why aren't they doing that? So to come back to the measurement question, how I look at it, how I like brands to look at it is really think in terms of the metrics that you would use to monitor your interactions with customers now. You know, what are you measuring now that says you're being successful with customers? So if, you know, if you're, if it's you know, the interactions, you know, when someone calls and how satisfied they're done, so the levels of satisfaction, how fast you're answering, um, you know, are they getting to the right experts, all that kind of stuff, those customer service type metrics. If you start there and then work your way back out, I think that probably is a better base of metrics at least to start from. And yes, you may eventually get out to the eyeball, but at least you're, you're dealing with the human, not mm -hmm. just their eyes. And let's say that a brand is doing some of the, these activities. They are listening. Um, they are responding. Uh, how, do, how do they actually track whether that's, that's working? What's the, what's the way of demonstrating within an organization sort of the ROI of, of actually engaging and, and actively doing this sort of stuff? Right. Okay. Well, I guess I will say one thing, uh, and I'll kind of flip it again. I know it's like I'm, not, I'm not trying to avoid the question, but I'd like to flip it again. And I'd almost say, what is the ROI of not listening and responding to mm -hmm. customers? Right? Um, 
there is a bigger impact of potential lost business, lost reputation, and so on and so forth if you're not responding. Because right now, it's not a, it's not really an option for the consumers that are talking out there right now. I know it, it feels to a lot of businesses that this is an optional thing because so many are just starting to get into it. So it appears that the masses are not doing it, which at this point they aren't. So they're kind of like, well, if no one else is doing it, maybe it's probably okay. And in fact, it's not, from a consumer perspective, it isn't okay. And the masses of the consumers are already in social networks and they are already conversing. So the return on investment of not listening, of not engaging, is lost customers, it's lost reputation, it's lost market share, people basically looking at loss of leadership within a space. I mean, all that stuff. So from that perspective, it's negative ROI from mm -hmm. not listening. Yep. So that's almost a way about it. Now, can you measure it? Yes, you can measure a lot of things. I mean, you can measure, you know, if you're if you're launching a campaign and you want to measure the amount of buzz that people have uh, that are talking online about a campaign, you can do that. You can, especially if you've designed it in such a way that your brand that you're launching is is new to the world, so that it's easy to kind of track. So if it's you know, grapple grummet, whatever, you can put that word in and you can see right with you know, the build up to the campaign, when the campaign launched, the spike. You can drill into you know what the conversations were, and then over time, if you're continually engaging in that market, you potentially can you know show that you can sustain it. You know that's the old attack. Uh, you know, it's the attack is, uh, decay, sustain, release. It's kind of the old mm -hmm. you know uh, music thing, but it's almost the same thing. And if you can kind of pull that out over time, you're going to keep that buzz high. And if you think about it, there are all other kinds of competitive brands, unless you're lucky to be a monopoly, there's tons of competitive brands and there's lots of, of discussion going on. So if you have the most discussion about yourself, good or bad, at least it's discussion. And obviously, if you can engage on the stuff that maybe not is, is you know, good for you, then you potentially can turn those you know, people that maybe aren't advocates into advocates for you. So last question, yep. um, for all of our clients uh, that are reading the, the Ogilvy DI blog, what one piece of advice would you offer them about uh, social media based on your experience of working with all these brands and agencies and, and everybody about trying to figure out how to measure it? Yep. Um, well, I think the first thing that I would say um, for every one of those clients would be um, start start listening and start start making sure that people know that you're listening um, as a way so it's to, not enough just to listen well yeah it, I mean you, you always want to start by just listening in some ways it's like when you approach a crowd at a, at a cocktail party uh, you don't walk up listen for a half second and then jump into the conversation and, and say and, and then kind of blurt out your message if you want to call it right and say hi this is what I am and try to start selling something what you want to do is you want to basically, you know, listen, understand who the players are, what people are saying, what's important to them, um, and then, you know, if they're having conversations, maybe join those conversations and add to the conversations to try to, you know, change them, and basically build up that community uh, and, and, and get to know everyone. And then at some point, you're given the right to be part of it. And I think when it comes to social media, the, the one I think I would probably leave with folks would be it's a long-term investment. It is not something, it's not a campaign. It's not a quick fix. It's not a quick fix. Just like your customer base that you have today, um, you, it took you years to get that customer base, and you would, you would, you can lose it so quickly, you know, if you do the wrong things, right? Well, it's the same thing with social media. You're building relationships much over time, and those relationships are, should be held dear to your heart because that's what's making your business. That's what people are spreading the great news about your business. That's where the, your, your customers come from, your advocates, the people that you know love to promote you. That's where they're all coming from. So from a social media perspective, it's the exact same thing as in real life. It's just done in a very online, easy-to-use environment in this Web 2.0 world. That's great. Thank you. You're welcome.